Hi guys, welcome to another car cast. Um, back, just come out with the barbers, it's a brand new car. Um, picked this up yesterday, so decided can't kill the car cast just because the car died. Um, although it seems quite strange, um, every car cast that's been recorded was all in that other car. So, RIP Passat. Um, and hello BMW. Um, yeah, I went with it, um, decided. I deserve it. Don't get me wrong, I've not bought this outright. I've, I'm, I'm financing it obviously on monthly payments and that. Uh, it's my little indulgence and my treat to myself. Um, and I like it. And, I'm, and, and apparently there's indicators on it as well. I didn't realise BMWs had indicators, but, but I've got them and I can use them. I might not use them, but I can, and that's what matters. Um, but yeah, so that, that's new car. Um, all still muggy weather, a couple of thunderstorms this week and everything. But I'm mean, everything moving forward. Um, so what are we going to talk about this week? Um, we we got through 8th edition. Um, we spoke about Games Workshop and somebody ratting me out. Because um, it was on Sunday, wasn't it? So it was, it was a late car cast. Um, so we talked about that. Um, Games Workshop up to the usual tricks this week. Um, my order normally arrives for Wednesday. It's now only due in today. Which means people who are waiting for stock have been delayed and and they just don't care games workshop they literally just don't care i'm i'm trying to say to them listen this isn't just my customers that you're letting down it's your customers as well and they just don't care <laughs> it's as simple as that um which which is alien to me like really is alien to me um but the games workshop what are you gonna do um so, what else is going on? So that, that that's all still happening. The rules pack will be out this weekend, um, or tomorrow in fact, uh, providing I get it typed up today, um, for the Northwest Open. And to be fair, we're pretty much just keeping it out the rule book. Um, the only comp change we're making is we are rolling for first turn rather than um, first first one to deploy gets auto first turn. It's just a bit too powerful that and it it, it puts puts too much emphasis on certain people then so um, you end up deploying unnaturally if that makes sense because you're trying to get the first turn. Um, I know you can still get CZ initiative but what we said initially we were going to do it with the dice roll where you get an extra dice um, per super heavy that you're against and we're like well no because super heavies aren't as brutal as they used, they're still brutal, but they're not as brutal as they used to be, and that's not fair to penalise the night players um, for playing knights, because whilst yes they have a lot of firepower, if they're not successful with it, they don't have a big model count to be able to score objectives and things, so it, it's still right to roll off the first turn, and if you deploy first you get plus one to your um, dice roll, so it does give you a slight advantage then for rolling off first. Um, other than that, we're, we're going to pretty much go, as I say, rule book. Um, we use an ITC missions. Um, we change the tertiary mission so that you either win, lose, or draw it, the same as primary and secondary, rather than both players can score the points. Because it doesn't make sense the way you can both score points. Um, what it does is it encourages you. If I, if I was about to win a game and I knew I was going to, and like literally, if I, if I had the primary and secondary in the bag, there was no way you can get them off me. And I'm going to stand my warlord out in the open and invite you to kill him because you'll get a point for it. I'm going to remind you and encourage you to try and score some points by getting line breaker because you're going to win it. I'm still going to get line breaker, I'm still going to get slay the warlord, and I'm still going to get whatever the other part of it was first blood or whatever it might be. But if I let you get two points, then my strength of schedule is better. And it seems daft that by letting your opponent do better against you, you can do better in the tournament. It, it, it's there's a, there's a cheat available in there. So we're just we're scrapping that. I'm going with missions. We're we're selecting five of the missions. It'll be random in which order you play the missions, but you will know which five missions you're playing. And it's all by the relic. Um, so we're not going to be playing the relic because um, whilst the relic can be quite fun, it's it's so favoured to whoever goes second. So you might roll roll off and get first turn, but actually you want to go second um, because of the way you score the points. At the end of the game, whoever controls the relic wins. 
distance. So if you know going into turn five, or definitely if you're going into turn seven, um, I don't think many eighth edition will get to turn seven, but if you know you're going to hit, you're going last, just make sure that you've got the relic in your win. It doesn't matter how badly you've been doing, you could have one Cavalite Warrior closest to the relic, and if nobody's holding the relic, then the nearest model to the relic wins, and you just also win the game, and I think, so we, we chose to be that to be the one that's dropped um, out of all the missions. Um, and there's arguments to drop each of the other ones. Should really drop Page the Alien because Kill Points is heavily favoured to, to elite armies. And, and there's, there's benefits and weaknesses to every army. So you just need to maximise the mission you're in. It's as simple as that gets really, isn't it? Um, what else have we done? We're going to allow Forge World at this event. Because we always have in the past. Um, and we've we've capped with with um, one super heavy and such in the past. Um, whereas we're not doing that this time. We are saying that you have to have a minimum of three detachments. Um, sorry, a maximum of three detachments. But you can you can't take the auxiliary detachments. Um, so you can't just add a free super heavy or whatever in and lose your command points um, because it it starts skewing things up a little bit too much. It means you can still have two super heavies. If you take a fortification, you're allowed one fortification, and that classes as your detachment. Um, so, again, it, it reduces the abuse of things like void shield generators and, and, and such. So we're going to put those things in there. These will all be written, um, and I'll, they, they, this is just an advance, advance screening um, for, all, for all you subscribers. Um, that don't have got any interest. <laughs> Looking at you, Will, you're still going to moan about it. You're still not going to be happy because something's going to nerf one of your armies somewhere. Um, but you know what? It's 8th edition. Um, Tau aren't what they were. I think you'll probably play Nids anyway if I'm taking a guess. Um, and you know I'm only joking with you anyway, mate. Um, but yeah, they, on, on, the, on the note of nerfing armies, every army is so powerful now that, that, that everything's broken. So everything's balanced. Um, when people start going, oh, this is really, really strong. It is, but so is this, 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 and this. Sure, yeah, you could you could turn up with something that's very, very weak. And the Forge World units, by and large, are very, very powerful. Um, and they have to be. Because Forge World have to write some stupidly amazing rules with really low points values. Because otherwise, nobody will buy their models, and they want people to buy their models. Surprisingly enough. So, so we've not. We, we were going to restrict them, we were going to put certain ones banned, but ITC, so Frankie and Reese, uh, Frontline Gaming, they, they've said they're not putting out their, um, their new FAQ, if you like, until three months after 8th, and that's obviously after the Northwest Open. So until we see what they're actually doing, we've spoke with them, we've spoke with a lot of other ITC organisers around the world, um, and, and there are some things that everybody's doing. The rest of it we're going to wait and see so we're going to allow forge world in and and that means there's going to be some silly lists and there really will be some silly lists what i would ask of anyone that's watching is remember what the northwest open and the last chance open are about yes there are big big tournaments in the uk and yes there is huge big prize support and i understand people want to come and win the prizes and we're not going to reduce prizes but the spirit of the northwest open is still the most important thing you don't need to bring a dick list. You just don't need to. It's not that important to win. Having fun should be more important than anything. Making sure that your opponent has fun should be more important than anything. So if you feel the need to write a Forge World heavy list, don't be surprised if you get thumbs down. Don't be surprised if you don't get a good reception from your opponent because that's not what it's about it's about encouraging people to play getting a lot of people back into the hobby uh, and, and such and yes it should be competitive without being ridiculous that that's how it's kind of being written um, come the last chance open we might ban forge world or we might restrict forge world we might just copy and paste itc um, that's what we've done in the past we don't know but for this one you've all got your toys play with them by all means just bit of common sense with it. Um, yes, it means you could bring a supremacy suit or a warhound titan or, or whatever you fancy, but when they're chomping into that many of your points, do you really 
want to be bringing it and actually do you want to be the guy that turns up with a supremacy suit or a, a town or whatever he's called um, on the table no you probably don't um, and if you do want to be then then fine if they, it, it, it's your shout I said we're not stopping anything this time round um, if you could fit it in which you clearly can't then you could bring a warlord tank uh, <laughs> We're just going to let it let it fly. It's the first one in eighth edition. We're sticking to three-hour games because people are still going to be learning their armies. We don't for one minute expect that the games will have to take three hours, but some people will still take that long. Me probably because I talk too much. Um, and then we, we'll look to changing everything for the last chance open. This is more a you know what? Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Let's play some games. Throw some dice. Um, let's have a good crack. And then let's concentrate into the last chance open and the War Games Expo, um, which we'll talk about probably next week. War Games Expo, when I've got more information. Um, it's not going to be June now, um, just because there was too much conflict with other events. So we're now looking at back end of September, beginning of October. Um, and, and that gives us a little bit more breathing space as well. Um, so, so yeah, that, that, that's it. The, the only other thing that, that we're saying, and again, it will be written in the, the pack is your command points you cannot spend command points before or after the game turn starts so you can't use a command point to re-roll the cc initiative um, you also can't use a command point to re-roll the end game turn so if you roll on turn five and the game doesn't continue you can't use a command point to try and re-roll it so that the game does continue at the same time if it does continue you can't re-roll it to try and make it end um, it's it's something that a lot of the ITC folk have already said and, and it's been very heavily hinted at that that will probably be FAQ'd uh, for clarity purposes those FAQ's might be out in the next few weeks anyway from, from Games Workshop so that covers Northwest Open um, what else have we got um, we were going to have the Siege Studios Masterclass and that got cancelled. Um, apparently there was not enough numbers for it, um, which um, I, 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 would, I would imagine is due to, to multiple different reasons. And um, We pushed it a bit from our end um, and, and Siege Studios promoted it a little bit. Um, they've, they've been in touch with people and said that they, they're going to look to reschedule the course. In all honesty, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think we're going to have them running the course out to the store. Um, because the more the more in-depth I looked into it, I don't think it's it's right to put our name to as War Games. Um, so, so anybody that was toying with the idea of that, don't completely cancel the idea. Um, it might just be that it's a different painting class that comes and runs. Um, and we, we're going to look into that. It's something we're going to... We're still going to set up, um, but yeah, it won't be Siege Studios. Um, those of you, the, the, the four or five of you that, that did want to go onto the course, um, I say the numbers didn't stack up for, for Siege to, to travel up here and to have hotels for four or five people. Um, so I would, I would look to them for a refund because uh, there certainly won't be a reschedule. Um, it's probably the easiest way of putting that. Um, X-Wing tournament, 1st of July, it's the store championship, it's a big tournament, um, it's, 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 it's a big day, um, so there's still tickets obviously available for that. It's important to mention, um, every event that we run that has a ticket sale for it, the tickets will not be available on the day. We're not letting people just turn up on the day and play, we want commitment beforehand, um, and whilst we might lose some players with that, we know where we're working. I've had to chat with, with you guys um, previously about doing it and, and we made the decision to go down that route. Um, so if you're talking with the, the, the X-Wing event or any of the other ones coming up, then make sure you get your name down. The Northwest Open, um, the reserve list is, is it's only short, to be fair. I think there's only literally three or four people now on the reserve list. Um, and we're now getting closer to the event, so it's where people do start dropping out and looking to reserve, um, look, looking to sell their tickets on. So if you're interested, then put your name down with me. Um, send us an email, sales at wargamesuk.co.uk, um, or get in touch via Facebook here, whatever, and, and we'll get your name on the reserve list. Um, 
tickets are 60 quid. It's a two day event, you get fantastic lunch both days. Um, obviously you get to play in a fantastic environment with, with some fantastic people. Um, kind of says it all really, doesn't it? Um, what else is there to talk about? Um, I don't think there is anything. Um, War Machine Journeyman League is, is, is going strong. Um, Bolt Action League started last night. Um, there's still plenty of time to join into that as well. I think there's eight in it, um, which is good. I'm, I'm impressed with that. Um, and we're just kind of running through and running through. I know what I wanted to mention. If you haven't been on our Instagram, then please do. It's um, wargames underscore UK, I want to say, is our Instagram handle. It's, I'll put the link in the video. Um, or go on our Facebook page and check out our Batman War. It's like literally, it's 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 amazing. Paul Gamble, the guy who's done the artwork on it, it's absolutely stunning. Um, and then just check the pictures out. Um, that's all I want to say on that note. Um, and yeah, I'm going to cut it there. Then I think 16 minutes in. Um, not much more needs to be said. Um, we're cracking on and and i'll see you guys next week and um, back to thursdays hopefully next week wednesdays or thursdays and um, depending on what day i'm off work um so yeah see you later guys